In this video, I'm gonna be installing these cylinder heads onto the short block. Uh, in order to do that, I got Felpro multi-layer steel head gaskets. I got ARP head studs, and I also have a uh, block kit from Ford Performance. I'll put the part numbers down in the description for, for these parts. Uh, but first, there's a couple of things I wanna to do to the block before I uh, start putting these parts on there. All right, so before I start putting any parts on here, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some ATF. Uh, I'm using Redline ATF. I'm going to put a little bit on this Scott's towel, and I'm just going to wipe out uh, each of the cylinders just because this is the last time that I'll be able to get in there and do any kind of uh, cleaning or anything. Just give it one last coat of oil on there. So I'm going to go through, I'm going to do each one. Uh, and then I'm going to rotate the engine 180, do them all again, uh, and then rotate the engine 180 so get it back at cockpit center uh, or close to it. Now that I got the cylinders all wiped down with oil, I'm going to take a dry cloth and I'm going to go over the gasket where the gasket surface is going to mate to. And I just want to try and get any oil or anything off of there one last time. Also, if uh, your block hasn't been prepped, you're going to want to blow out these uh, uh, bolt holes or stud holes that attach the uh, uh, cylinder heads down. This engine has already been blown out, but uh, you definitely want to get out any uh, material or anything like that that could be down inside these uh, bolt holes. Next, I'm going to add these locating dowels that go inside the... Uh, the block here these are the ones that are they got a little uh, I guess a little crack in them to allow them to, to kind of uh, squeeze together those there's four of them there's one here one here one over here and one over here they go on the top portion up here they're pretty easy to install you just tap them down in there And now I'm going to add the Felpro head gasket. There is a left and a right one, and they're marked on there. It'll say uh, right bank or left bank on there. The lettering is going to go up. Now we can just hang these right on our locating dowels. There's two main ways you can install the cylinder head. One is I could put the cylinder head on here right now and then run these studs down in there. Uh, the other one is uh, put the studs in and then put the head on there. Uh, either way, you want to not, you're trying not to damage the machine surface on the cylinder head. I'll show you both ways. First, the first way I'm going to do is I'm going to install these studs into the block. Uh, ARP recommends that these go in dry. Uh, they do have a Allen at the top of that. That's only to assist with installing them. Uh, it's not meant to uh, be used to torque it down. Uh, so I just bottom these things out uh, and then that's pretty much it. Uh, no torque put on these, uh, basically hand tight all the way down. This is the way I install my cylinder heads. I will usually install the studs into the block before I grab the cylinder head and uh, put the cylinder head on here. Uh, just take your time putting these things on they should all be about the same height once they're, once they're pretty much bottomed out. You'll really be able to tell uh, when you put the cylinder head on there. So the way I have to get the cylinder head on... <clears throat> now basically line up the bottom row. Once I get it into the bottom row, I'll just kind of pivot it around onto the top and then make sure it gets on the dowel you're gonna to want to make sure the pins in your uh, engine stand here my pins not in there uh, this thing could have rotated around and could have been a lot worse so uh, make sure you got a pin in there to hold your block in place so now the other way to do it would be to not have your studs in yet uh, and now I'm gonna put the cylinder head on it and then after I put the cylinder head on there I put the studs through the cylinder head. Now when you do this, you're just gonna line up where the locating dowels go, and then that's all it's gonna hold it on there, so. Now 
Once you have it set on there, I don't like to let it go until I at least get one stud uh, started in here. And once you got a couple started, then you can just work your way down the line and get them all in there. Next up, we can install the washers. Uh, these have like a serrated edge to them. That serrated edge goes down against the uh, cylinder head. Uh, also, you want to wipe off any of the uh, uh, anti-corrosion stuff that's on, on the, the packaging material uh, that is on these washers. So each one of these gets wiped down, gets put on. Once all the washers are on, you're going to want to add some of this uh, fastener assembly, assembly lube that comes with it. Uh, this is also sold separately uh, if you if you run out of these or if you don't have any of this. So uh, bottom line is basically you need to put uh, some of this lube on the threads and on the t uh, bottom of the bolt or on in on the top of the washer. Either way, so those are the those are the spots that you need. What, the way I do it is I squeeze out <clears throat> a little like pea-sized uh, dollop of it, and then I just wipe it on the threads. And kind of just push it into the corner uh, that way when I go and I thread the, the nut on there it moves all that around let me try and get a close-up of what that looks like so there's just the ARP lube up on the top that way when the bolt gets cinched down it moves it all throughout the threads and on top of the washer so now I put the nut on there and I'll show you what that looks like after it uh, gets Thread it down all the way. Okay, so you can see it's got the, the fastener lube all the way around it, all the way around on the bottom of the uh, uh, nut. Okay, so here's a shot of our torque sequence. We're gonna do it in three phases. First, we're gonna torque it to 25, then 50, then 70, and we're gonna follow these numbers. It's basically working from the inside uh, and working your way out. So we'll go 25, do them all, uh, and then we'll do them all at 50, and then we'll do them all at 70, and then it'll be done. Okay, so first is 25. And now 50. And now the fun one, 70 foot-pounds. Now that they're all torqued, I like to go down the line just to make sure that they're all stayed right at 70. And now I'll go ahead and repeat that process for this side. All right, so there you got it. The cylinder heads are installed, torqued down, ready to go. I also like to put some of this blue tape on there for when I'm working on it. I don't drop anything down in there. I keep this engine covered with an engine bag and uh, cinched up on the bottom. You want to basically keep these things uh, clean as much as you can while you're working on them. Uh, next up, I'm going to be putting the timing uh, chains on here and doing some degreeing for the camshaft. And uh, then we'll be putting the covers on there. So i got to get some parts ordered for this thing.